Good morning, everyone. It's Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons back with another video. This is going to be a cooking video. I am going to show you how I make my chicken and noodles in the crock pot. So my first step is, is I've lined my crock pot. I've showed you um, in my Walmart hauls that I buy these crock pot liners from them. Um, I believe you get eight in a package for like $3.97, but I absolutely love these. I line my crock pot with them. It saves you from, um, you know, your crock pot. It's less to clean up. Excuse me, I've been good. Excuse me. We had the time change last night, so we've lost that hour. So anyways, I went ahead and I put my chicken in the bottom of the crock pot. So that, um, I used three pounds of the chicken breasts um, from Walmart. So I have those in here, and then I have, then I'm gonna add chicken broth. So I have the great value chicken broth from Walmart. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour, pour that over your chicken breast. It's gonna be another beautiful day here in Northern Indiana today. It's supposed to be in the 60s. 60s, 60s. So there, I have that poured in there. And then you can choose to add um, your stick of butter now or you could do it later but i'm gonna go ahead and get my stick of butter sorry i should have had this opened but i forgot but you have your stick of butter um you can add the whole thing or you can add you know a half add the whole thing because I always make more than what the uh, recipe asks for. I just kind of, you know, this is one of those recipes you can, um, that you can alter for, you know, for however many people or, you know, and I always make way more because I want to have it for leftovers. Like I made this last Sunday and we had leftovers on Monday. And I even, you know, saved the mashed potatoes that we had left over. So there, you just kind of cut the butter up there. And I did use my knife from the Dollar Tree. I love these knives absolutely love them and my store has never ever had them I can only find these knives at a Dollar Tree's out of town so if you see these knives pick them up they're really really good knives so when we go back out of town to the Dollar Tree's I am probably gonna pick a lot up just to have and to give as gifts so these are really nice knives. They even come with the cover um, for a dollar. I mean, this is really nice, really, really nice um, knives. Okay, so this is step one. I have my chicken breast, my chicken broth, and my butter. And the next thing to do is put the lid on and let this cook for about three, four hours. Um, you know, keep checking your chicken because you don't want to overcook your chicken. So, you know, each crock pot varies. So just be sure to check your chicken um, halfway, halfway through if you're around. So I'm going to cook mine on low. Uh, last weekend, I forgot to th thaw my chicken. So I just put, um, I put my chicken here frozen, you know, and it turned out delicious. So either way. So I have this unthawed today. So I'm just, I have my crock pot set. So 
just gonna set that and I will be back when I uh, take the chicken out to shred it to put it back in and then I'll add my um, cream of chicken soups to this so but right now all I want to do is I want to get that chicken cooked so I will be back with part two thank you everyone Welcome back everyone. It's Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons and I'm in my kitchen and I recorded my first um, part of this video early this morning when I put my chicken breast in the crock pot to cook. Now I've been shredding my chicken and it's so easy to shred chicken. I just have it um, on my plate. I'm just using, you know, two, um, let me, I'm just kind of, you know, taking the chicken and just kind of, you know, it falls apart. So I just kind of, you know, do that. So I hope you're all having a great, great Seattle or Sunday. I was going to say Saturday. It's Sunday. If you all survived the time change, we did. Oh, I hate the time change. I like it in the fall, but not. But see, you just kind of shred your chicken. Um just shred it to whatever kind of pieces you want it. I've got this plate shredded and I have my other plate shredded here. So now what I do is I take this and I'm gonna put it back in my crock pot, okay? So let me move you over here, sorry, sorry, sorry. So there's, here's my crock pot where I have my chicken broth um, and I put, a stick of butter in there, and that's what the chicken cooked in, the chicken breast cooked in. So you just kind of want to dump the chicken back in there. That was my first plate of chicken that I shredded. There's that. And here's my other plate of chicken that I've shredded. I cooked three pounds of chicken breast. Um, for this and you just put that back in there and I'll give it a stir and now I'm gonna add the cream of chicken now you can make this recipe I have pretty much doubled the recipe now I'm gonna add the cream of chicken soup and I'm gonna add four cans because that's what I did last weekend um, that's what I did last weekend because I made like a double batch so we could have it for leftovers. So you can, you know, you can just make it, however, you can just use um, a pound of chicken or, you know, what have you, two cans of cream of chicken soup if you make the recipe smaller. I make the recipe big just because, you know, my boys, they absolutely love, love, love when I make chicken and noodles so yeah I'm just dumping the four cans of cream of chicken soup in here it's a beautiful day here folks in northern Indiana absolutely gorgeous I had to take Tyler we went and picked his friend McKenna up and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be in the 60s here today, and it feels like it. I'm in short sleeves. It's just gorgeous. So then I added that, so I'm gonna stir that up. Give that a stir. And if you wanna salt and pepper, you can. I usually salt and pepper at the um, end, because Tyler doesn't, and sometimes I don't even salt and pepper. Um, I just let the individual do that because Tyler's not a big pepper person and neither am I. So I don't really, you know, add the salt and pepper until maybe the end or I just don't add it at all. So I gave that a good stir. And now I'm gonna get the frozen noodles and I'll show you what kind I get. These are the kind of noodles. Oops, let me pull you up here. Let me, these are the kind of noodles I get. 
you get them in the frozen section. I get these off of walmart.com because you know me, I do my online grocery shopping. So let me see if I can find any scissors in my drawer. And I'm not seeing any scissors whatsoever in my drawer. Oh, here we go. Scissors walk away like socks do in my house. So I'm just gonna cut the bag open. Oh, and I let my chicken cook um, probably about five hours on low. But here, I'm just gonna pour one package of noodles in. This package is 24 ounces, and I'll give that a stir, stir those in, and then I'm gonna add one more package because like I said, I like to double the recipe. That way we can have leftovers. So there's one bag. Now I'm gonna open the other bag. And I am not a cook, but I like to cook in my crock pot. I wish there was lots more simple recipes to do in my crock pot. I guess if I got online, I could. Now I'll just kind of stir these in and I may or may not add more um, chicken broth. It just depends. I'm gonna see how these cook and absorb and then I'll see if I need to add any more chicken broth. Now that I've added the noodles, you cook this for two, like two, two and a half hours on low. Just be sure to check it and stir it because you don't want to overcook your noodles. But that's so easy. This is such an easy, easy recipe. I, I had a, yeah, look at my storage up on my fridge, but there's the sun shining. But um, yes, so I saw this recipe on Facebook and I made it and my kids absolutely fell in love with it. So I make it every year. I'll even make it during the summer on a Sunday if the kids want, you know, like a home cooked meal that's gonna fill them up. So yeah, so I hope you're all having a great Sunday. I've got laundry going. I've got this going now. I've got to run Trenton to Walmart. Yes, I have to go into Walmart. Ugh. He got some money and he wants to uh, go and see if he can find some Hot Wheel cars. So that's what he's gonna do. I'm gonna look for some more of those 50 cent cups and plates to buy as a bridal shower gift and look in their office section, see if I can find anything to decorate my cubicle with. So, yes, yeah, so have a great day. I'll be back with the finishing results later on today. So thank you everyone, I'll be back for part three. Good afternoon everyone, I am back with the third and final step of my cooking video. So I'm just gonna tilt the phone down and show you what my crock pot looks like. This is the chicken and noodles that I've had going. Um, you know, I started it first thing this morning, but here is what the finished product looks like. That is what the chicken and noodles looks like. That is the final step in the making. All there is left to do is make the mashed potatoes to put the chicken and noodles over. But this was such a simple, easy recipe. I showed all the ingredients as I was making this. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. I'm gonna make the mashed potatoes and gravy and we are gonna eat. So hopefully you've enjoyed this cooking with Chris video today and I will edit this and get it all together and get this shared. It, the ingredients I used is three pounds of chicken breast, 
four cans of cream of chicken soup, one large container of the chicken broth, um, a stick of butter, and this, and then the frozen egg noodles. I kind of doubled my batch, so then that way we have plenty for leftovers for tomorrow on Monday night for dinner. So this was my cooking with Chris, my chicken and noodle recipe in the crock pot. And I hope you all enjoy this video. So I am gonna get busy now and make the mashed potatoes. And so the boys and I can eat and then have a nice relaxing evening. It's almost five o'clock here with the time change. <sighs> It'll be dark in the morning again when it's taking kids to school. I don't like that, but it is gonna be spring in a couple weeks. So I am looking forward. We're gonna have a nice, beautiful spring week. So have a great, great Sunday. I hope you're all having a great relaxing Sunday before we all head back to work tomorrow. And just enjoy it, be safe. And I will see you in my next video. If you're new, please consider tapping the subscribe button and then tapping the bell so you get notifications when I post a video. So enjoy, we are gonna enjoy our chicken and noodles and mashed potatoes for Sunday evening dinner. So have a great, great start to your week and thank you for tuning in and watching and I will definitely see you in my next video. Thank you everyone, have a great, great evening. Bye-bye.